Before we do some sports this evening, there's high enthusiasm and euphoria in Cameroon as the country prepares to host a prestigious Africa Cup of Nations tournament almost 50 years since it lasted. Cameroonian sports journalist Injen No tells TV3 citizens are getting their COVID-19 vaccine jabs ahead of the games and concerns about security are being taken seriously. A lot of excitement around town, especially in the host cities. People are traveling into the various towns, the various cities that will host the Afghan purchasing tickets, doing the COVID tests, especially as um, getting into the stadiums, you need a COVID test and you have to be vaccinated. All the sports tournaments are impacted by the COVID-19. And so obviously it's, it's going to have an impact. But that's why I do feel that CAF is... Uh, laying emphasis a lot on fans being vaccinated uh, before getting into the stadiums to limit the spread of the ailment. And I think that's also why they've allowed teams to come into this competition with 28 players uh, with an extra list of about 12 others who are on the waiting list. Um, I think it, it, will, it will be an issue, but it was an issue um, during the Shan teams tested positive for COVID. It's been an issue since this ailment came in. And I think that we have to learn how to live with it. It's important to explain to, to fans that there are six venues across um, five regions. And the part of the country that could have concerns around security is obviously the Limbe Boyopo, uh, where you have secessionist movements that have been uh, fighting for the creation of a country that they call Ambazonia. Um, these threats were obviously present during the um, African Nations Football Championship.